are back because we've got to talk about a new season that we're in. I'm going to give you a hint as to what that season might be. And if you already know it, you can just yell it to me. You can just tell it to me. But in this season, the temperature starts to get a little cold. We might go apple picking. And one of my favorite things to do is collect leaves. Ah! <laughs> yes, you guessed it, friends. We are in the season of fall. And there's so many changes that come with this season. In one of my favorite science classes, Miss Kate's first grade class showed us one of the things that we can do with the leaves and during our fall season. The next time you go for an outside walk, I want you to keep some of these things in mind. And maybe you can even try the activity too. Are you ready to take a look? Let's go. These students got to explore all sorts of leaves. They were able to look at the size and the shape, and they even got to feel the texture of all sorts of leaves they found outside. As they swirled and took looks at their different kinds of leaves, they were able to figure out how many sides, what kind of shape it looked like, and if it was smooth or if it was pointy. Once they classified the different types of leaves, their teacher showed them a super cool way to create texture on their paper using their leaves. And this is something that you might be able to try at home too. Look at all the amazing colors and the different lines that you can see coming through the paper. Wow. Try this one at home. Wow. Miss Kate's first grade class showed us what it really means to be scientists and study different leaves. But all this leaf talk has me wondering, friends, is there another arts and crafts project that we can do with just leaves? Yes? You know what? I have two other projects that I did right at home, and it's something that you might be able to do too. How about we take a look? It's time for crafts! For our first arts and crafts project, you'll need oil pastels or crayons, paint, purple paint, a paintbrush, pieces of paper, your favorite leaves, and toothpicks. The first thing you're going to do is color in your piece of paper with many different colors and different shades that you like.
you'll take your purple paint and you'll put a little bit on your paint palette. Dip your paintbrush in the water and you're gonna use this purple paint to go over your colorings that you did. This is gonna be used so that you can later reveal your colors through the different designs and shapes that you make. Once you've painted your paper purple, you're gonna take a toothpick and you can start to create. As you see, the toothpick reveals the colors that are beneath the purple paint. I started to draw a leaf, but you're welcome to draw any type of design that you like. For our next project, we're gonna make leaves and tangles. You can use chalk markers, an assortment of leaves, and black paper in case your design runs off. You can use your marker to create as many designs on top of your leaf that you'd like.
What a creation of designs. I hope to see yours. We love to read. Hi, my name is Kaylee, and this is my favorite book. I'm going to tell you the title. The title is What the Road Said by Cleo Wade. Have you ever wanted to go in a different direction? Have you ever wondered if there was something more, something out there, something just different? I did too. Then one day, I was walking my usual way home when, out of nowhere, for no reason at all, almost as if it were magic, a road appeared. I could not believe my eyes, so I walked over to it and... I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. How do I start? I asked. The road smiled and said, you have already started. Well, what happens when I get there? We have just begun, said the road. Do not skip straight to the ending. Enjoy the beginning and the middle too. Which way do I go? That is your choice to make, said the road. But what if I go the wrong way? The ro road curved a little, almost as if it was giving me a hug and said, do not worry. Sometimes we go the wrong way on our way to the right way. What if I get scared? That is okay. You are brave, said the road. But what does it mean to be brave? I asked. The road guided me through a very gloomy forest. Even though I was frightened, I trusted the road. And as I took one step, and then another step after that, the road gently whispered, Being brave is when you are afraid of doing something, but you do it anyway. Do not let what scares you keep you from continuing on your path. Will I always move forward? Not always said the road. Why not? Because sometimes you will stumble backward and sometimes you will stand still. What if I fall? Everyone falls at some point, said the road, but I will always be here, be there when you, had, when you land. What if I get lost? There may be some days that I feel long and dark, said the road, but I promise that no matter what, I will give you the evening stars and the morning sun to light your way. What if I grow weary or get hurt? I will give you trees of all shapes and sizes to shelter you when you need to rest and heal, said the road. What if I get lonely? You are never alone, said the road. What if I change? Come with me, said the road. And as I moved forward, the road introduced me to a caterpillar and a family of seeds. We did not stay long. The road began taking me on a journey through the seasons. I watched summer turn to fall and fall turn to winter. And as spring was upon us, I realized we had gone in one big, beautiful circle. I looked down and found I was standing in front of the caterpillar and the seeds once more. Only the caterpillar was no longer a caterpillar, and the seeds had turned to flowers of every color, swaying in the sun. The road then raised me up and said, All things grow and change. That is the magic of being alive. You too will find your wings. You too will bloom. No living thing is meant to stay the same. What if I need help on my journey? Ask your fellow travelers along the way. What if they are mean to me? Lead them to kindness, said the road. How? By being kind. What if they want to fight? Lead them to peace, said the road. But how do I lead them to peace? By listening to their stories, telling them yours and reminding them that you are all on this journey together.
What if the world around us is filled with hate? Lead it to love. How? By sharing the power of your love with it, said the road. What if something expected happens? Keep going. What if there are mountains that feel too tall to climb? What if there are rivers that feel too wide to cross? What if I get my heart broken? What if I feel stuck? What if giving up is easier? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, said the road. What if I can't do it? You can, said the road. How do you know? Because you have come this far, said the road. I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. We've almost come to the end of our show. But before we go, I want to share with you one of my favorite things that I enjoy about the fall. And it's going to the fair, the fun rides. I love to play some games and can't forget the cotton candy and candy apples. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today, friends. Let's take a ride and I'll see you next time. Follow Miss Cam on social media. <laughs>